Welcome back to BJP Let's Talk, guys. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different here. So you probably have seen it in the title and uh, the thumbnail of this video. We ordered the cheapest wheel spacers on Amazon. I think they were like forty-seven dollars or forty-five bucks. It was not a lot, but they came super quick. So, so let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. We're gonna go ahead and slap these babies on the Jeep here. I'm thinking we're gonna go with the two back wheels which as you can see these are already scuffed up and rusty for some reason so that is kind of awful but it's fine uh we'll go ahead and figure that out but it's uh here they are <laughs> this is kind of an unboxing for you guys this is how they came and it is literally just two wheel spacers one and a half inch uh wheel spacers for each of them um i've never put on wheel spacers but i'm pretty sure you just bolt them on and they go on fine so uh, we're gonna go ahead and open this up, peel the sticker off, and uh, see what we got in here. So I guess this is what we're working with, guys. We got some bolts on here, which I believe these just bolt onto the thing. Um, and then, I'm not sure, I think these are supposed to go off of here and then onto here into these posts. So I gotta figure out what size these are real quick uh, in my sockets and see if I can find the right size quick. So it's looking like they're gonna be a 19 millimeter here. Uh, it goes right into the socket. So those are gonna be 19 mils that are gonna go onto these. So hopefully um, we can get these things going on here. So I guess all that's left is to go ahead and set up the camera, get these wheels off and uh, try and get these on, I guess, and see how they, uh, see how they look. If you guys did not watch my other video and you don't know the trick, you go ahead and grab a Walmart plastic bag and slap it around your uh, protective socket on your breaker bar here, and you can get the wheels off with the black lugs without damaging them or to an extent. For most of them it worked, for this one, I, I messed up on this one when I first did it, so it's a little messed up. But we're gonna go ahead and break this free, jack it up, take the wheel off, slap these babies on, see what it's gonna look like. Get a hold of yourself. Now I'm pretty sure we're just gonna pop these babies on. Uh, I just wanna make sure that these, yep, they do in fact. It's kinda windy out, it looks like it's gonna rain so hopefully I can beat the weather and get this done. All right, so this is supposed to just slide on like this. Nice flat fit. And then these guys should just go right up and on to here to hold it on. Get a hold of yourself. You obviously should be using a torque wrench when you're doing this, uh, but like I say in every video, this is just the channel of sending it and just praying. So I don't really, uh, I don't really do all that. I mean, I will when I put the wheel back on, but for now. slap the wheel back on. So this is what it's looking like so far with the spacer on. Uh, it's gonna push it out quite a bit, so let's see how funny this looks. So here's where we're looking like now with having them pushed out. Hopefully you guys can see. It's a lot wider on the edge here. It's sticking out so much more than it was. Um, if I put my arm here now, let me get a better angle of this. If I put my arm here, 
If I put my arm here now, you can see it's pretty much flush. It actually sticks out a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna actually drop this down. I have to tighten it up a little bit more, but this is how it's looking with it, uh, with it kind of stuck out. It looks funny because the other one's not stuck out at all. Um, for comparison, this is what this side looks like without it. You can see here, it's flush. We take a few steps over this way. It, uh, it pokes a little bit. It's, it's interesting looking. I'm not sure if I like it. You can't really notice it too much from the side. It's more for when you're looking at it from the back. You can kind of see from a further distance uh, what it looks like. Kind of just sticks out a bit more on this side. Um, I'm going to do the other side quick. And, or something, I don't know, I don't know, I like it. All right, so I was thinking about it. I was I was not gonna do the other side, I'll be honest. I, was, I wasn't gonna. But then you guys are gonna gonna talk sh in the comments and be like, hey, you don't, you didn't do the whole thing. So how are you gonna do a video on it or do a review on it? So I'm gonna do the other side just for the video, just for you guys, even though it's absolutely gross out and the weather just looks like it's gonna get worse. But we're gonna go ahead and bang out the other side so I can do an actual full review for you guys, or like a full, video on the cheapest Amazon wheel spacers, I guess. So, uh, yeah, let me just bang out the other side super quick. We're, we're gonna do it, let's just, let's just get to it. All right guys, so I took a break for a little bit uh, when I had some to eat. The sun came out, as you can see, it's actually kind of nice out. So I can kind of show you guys a little bit better about what it's looking like. So uh, from the back here, you can hopefully see that it pokes out a lot more uh, down the side here. And we can even go ahead and look from the front and you can see that the front is tucked where the back is sticking out quite a bit. Uh, it might be hard to pick up on camera, but at least you guys can hopefully get a little bit of an idea. Um, it does stick out a little bit past the, the fender well here. Um, I don't know if you guys can really see. It's, like I said, it's hard to see on camera, but it does stick out a little bit more past the uh, liner there. And I'm gonna be honest, I kind of like the way that it looks. Um, I feel like I should do the front though if I'm gonna keep it. I feel like it looks weird to have the back out just a little bit. And then again, it also staggers it a little bit and makes it a little bit beefier in the back. But let me know what you guys think down below because I'm not sure if I like it or not yet. So I might try it and drive around on it for a little bit and let you guys know in a future video how it's doing. Um, as of right now, I'm not sure, like I said, if I'm going to keep it or if I like it. Um, I still want to make sure I go back and tighten them up real good before I go driving too much. Um, these are torqued on, but I'm just not sure about the other ones because I didn't torque those on yet because I went to go eat and stuff like that. It was gross out that it was going to rain. So, um, like I said, I'm going to tighten those down probably tomorrow or something like that and then do a little driving segment of the video. Um, I'm not sure if it'll be in the video or whatnot, but that's what it's looking like guys so if you guys like it let me know down below if you don't like it let me know down below why um i'm not sure if i like it but i thought it was a funny idea to buy the cheapest ones that i could find on amazon and kind of get this a uh, little bit of a look going so definitely let me know like i said uh if you guys like it or if you don't um i know some of you guys were talking about doing it on your cars or if you have done it let me know down below like i said um, let's, let's get going about these these things. Um, I do need some new tires. I'm gonna pop a picture up on the screen of the tires on this Jeep that I found. 
and I want to know what model those are so if you guys have any idea because they're like I, I like the look of these where they're more just street all weather kind of all season tires um, that's kind of what I'm looking for I don't want to get anything too beefy but I would like a little bit of more tread so um, those do have a little bit of tread on the outside here kind of like right around this area um, you get a little bit more so like I said I'll pop that up there so if you guys know what those are I think they're Bridgestones uh, they're gonna be just standard 265 50 uh, R20 so let me know if you do know maybe you have them on your Jeep or you know what model they are for some reason but uh, that's probably gonna be about it for this video guys there might be a segment right before this where I drive around but I don't know yet so if you did enjoy this video make sure you smash that like button down below of course comment any of those things that I said or any questions or comments or anything you guys have down below and of course subscribe to stay updated with future content new videos coming every Monday Wednesday and Friday at 3 p.m. on the channel thanks for watching guys peace